Sorry guys if uh, you guys hear some background noise. I'm doing this during the night and my dad's watching a movie. Anyway, welcome to the first episode of Kaijuathon. After a while, Cartels, this is Super Crazy Fawful, and welcome to Kaijuathon, episode zero. I know what you guys may, may be thinking. Um, again, like, why, well, I didn't, like, why am I doing episode zero again? Well, I didn't really like the original vid, so I'm remaking it. So, I'm going to re be reviewing two films that inspired the Big G and the entire kaiju genre. So, so yeah, and I'm reviewing King, the 1933 classic, and and the 1954 independent film. So yeah, um, so let's first take a look at the 1933 classic, King Kong. In, in, the in 1933, a director by the name of Carl Denham, played by Robert Armstrong, was, wants to, to make a movie. So he gets the actors and, and the leading actress, Anne Darrow, played played by Fay Ray to hop on a ship and go to this uncharted island called Skull Island to shoot the movie. But the island is inhabited by dinosaurs and natives who worship a giant ape named Kong. The natives kidnap Anne for a sacrifice to Kong. Jack, who is in love with Anne, and Carl, who wants to catch to catch Kong, get some get some cast members and and some ship crew some of the ship crew crew to go out and and well sa save save Dan save Anne while being at attack by attacked by dinosaurs Kong falls in love with Anne and protects her from other creatures such as pterodactyls plesiosaurs and a T-Rex I really like the T-Rex T-Rex it the T-Rex fight. It is a great fight. But, anyway. L later on in the film, Jack saves saves Anne and Carl captures Kong. Kong's taken to, to New York, as other people like to call it, the Big Apple, as an attraction. Kong escapes and lays waste to New York, and later on in his rampage, takes Anne and climbs up the Empire State Building, State, State Building, and is shot down by army planes and is sadly killed in the ending. With Carl Denham saying, it was beauty that killed the beast. The end. Whew! <clears throat> now the next film, uh, 1953's The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms. So yeah, plot. At the Arctic Circle, a nuclear bomb test awakens a 30-foot-tall creature called the Retosaurus and goes out into the ocean, destroys a ship, and begins making its way to, to the east coast of North America and destroys anything in its path. Um, this movie is based off a short story called The Voghorn by Ray Badbury, where a giant creature destroys a lighthouse. Anyway. But back to the film. Sadly, the army can't kill kill the creature because the creature's blood is toxic. So they decide to take the the those the creature to Coney Island, where it it makes its untimely demise. Now it's time. Well, now it's time for my ratings. You know my opinions. First, calm. So yeah, go back here, calm. The theme all the way th through the film, all the way from the opening theme, all the way to the tear-jerking ending theme is all fantastic. Um, and, and the effects were, were just as good, which were done by Willis O'Brien, the grandfather of stop motion. And Robert Armstrong as Carl Denham is my favorite character in this film. But the beginning is boring, most of the cast is bland, and Fay Ray as Anne mostly just screams and it makes me want to punch her in the face. 
But besides that, it's a great film. And now let's talk about The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms. Uh, with The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms, the effects were, were done by Ray Harryhausen, which is the father of stop motion. He does a beautiful job with The, the Beast. The music is okay. Some, some songs good, some songs aren't. But there's more good ones than bad ones. And most of the cast is just bland. I don't even remember the names of the characters. But at, at least it has a great ending. And the, the, the monster is mostly the highlight of the film, pretty much. So I'm giving... So my ratings for this. I'm giving... I'm giving... King Kong, a four and a half out of five, and The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms, a three out of five. So, uh, King Kong is a must-own film, and The Beast from... The Beast, well, if you see it at Walmart or some other random supermarket, get it. It, it will be worth your time. So, so this has been uh, episode zero of, of Kaiju Th of. Let me say it more epically, Kaijuathon. And next time, we're going to review the original classic, Godzilla, well, Gojira, and its American counterpart, Godzilla King of the Monsters. Now, if you excuse me, I need to go kill a plumber. See alligators later. Adios!